Move over Tarzan, Jane is the real queen of the jungle. As a child, Jane's favourite thing in the world was her toy chimpanzee. It kept her safe while her dad fought the war and her family fled to escape World War II. Jane loved animals and rescued strays, watched birds and sketched butterflies. Jane was madly in love with Tarzan, the king of the jungle, and dreamed of one day living in the jungles of Africa, studying its exotic fruits and animals. At school she loved learning and excelled in biology, but her family could not afford to send her to college. If you really want something and if you work hard and never give up, you will somehow find a way. Determined to pursue her jungle dream, Jane worked as a secretary, editor and waitress. After years of saving her money, Jane finally boarded a ship and found a job in Kenya where she met famous archaeologist Louis Leakey, who was so impressed by her knowledge of animals that he invited her on expeditions to hunt for fossils. Jane's patience made her perfect for studying chimps in their natural habitat. But many doubted whether a young woman could survive in the jungle with only a will to succeed and a desire for adventure. Jane set out into the wilderness. Jane would face many challenges in the jungle. She'd contact malaria, nearly die in a plane crash, and risk her life crossing rivers full of crocodiles. But she also had a major problem with the chimps. They ran away whenever she got close. She needed to gain their trust fast. So every day she would show up with a basket of bananas. Soon the chimps wanted to be friends and would put out their hand to ask for a banana. When a baby chimp looks at you, it's just like a human baby. We have a responsibility to them. Jane bonded with the chimps, imitating them and even groomed them. Her fieldwork showed the chimps build and use tools a groundbreaking discovery. Since making tools was considered exclusive to humans only, what was supposed to be a three-year study turned into over two decades of jungle research. She continued her work even when rebels in the area were kidnapping foreigners. To make matters worse, she also suffered from place blindness and had to retrace her steps thousands of times to familiarize herself with the route. The Jane Goodall Institute continues to fight for endangered primates all over the world and strives to preserve and protect wildlife for generations to come. Jane's remarkable story is proof that passion makes you unstoppable. We have the choice to use the gift of our life to make the world a better place or not to bother.